uh, to shake things out. Definitely on the radar, but but neither of these guys ranked. Hunter Taylor had a really good win in the semifinals over Christian Forbes, who's a top 10 guy. Uh, definitely knew that was going to be a, an important match and one to circle. But no, these guys not on not on the rankings. Definitely on the radar. Here they go. Action underway. So that's more Vari in the red for Minnesota. As you mentioned, got the Minnesota Storm singlet on as he gets a low-level shot. That's an ankle working up to the knee. Taylor in the blue from Missouri. Good job uh, turning to face him. And now he's got a cross lock. He's going to get two on the exposure. And good job scrambling through that, although, yeah, Taylor, good job uh, not giving up the one in reversal. A lot of times on those exposures, you end up bailing out and just making it a one-point score, but stays on top. Now he's got a tight gut, elbow to elbow. Just that lock. That may be the right adjustment. We'll see on the edge. Nope. So runs out of room. They'll head back to the center, back to neutral. Two minutes, 19 seconds to go. Morvari is going to be a junior at Simley High School and drops in on a shot. Nice defense there from Taylor. Simley High School, Minnesota powerhouse program, and certainly has helped in the development of Morvari. Taylor going to be a sophomore at Liberty High School in Missouri. Another strong wrestling tradition there at Liberty High School. And we've got blood on the mat. The first blood time of the uh, finals of the 50th Fargo. Junior men's freestyle. There's maybe Taylor more. trying to tilt his head, keep some of that uh, blood from spilling onto the mat, save his coaches some cleanup. It's very considerate of him. He's yeah. got a Fargo final to worry about, but instead he's selflessly tilting his head to avoid putting too much blood on the mat. Yeah, actually it looks like his ear, not his uh, nose. So uh, hazards of the sport, cauliflower, sometimes those ears explode, gets a little messy. Yeah, particularly in a tournament with brackets as big as these, 106 I believe was a. Now that, that trainer's face is the face of someone that sees something gnarly there. Yeah. And we, as we got a good, good vantage shot. But sorry, I, I cut you off. I, well, I saw that. I saw that trainer in the coffee line this morning, and she had five cups of coffee. I don't think, uh, you know, I think she knew she she might need to caffeinate up, but um, <laughs> I don't know if that was enough. Yeah, I, you'd hope five would do it. You would hope, but now you're looking at an ear situation like this, and you know, could be could be shocking. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be back to action soon, though, and this may end up. It's like they're trying to put. They've got that stick with that whatever that chemical is that, that like, you know, chemically cauterizes it. Ooh, yeah, like a like a big long Q-tip that just hisses and sizzles you up. Yeah, so hopefully that works. If not, we're gonna probably see a gable wrap around that ear. Either way, he's a wrestler, he's gonna tough it out. I'm sure he just wants to get back on the mat. He's got a two point lead. Let's see if they make any adjustments. Only a minute into this uh, bout. So not too much to take away, uh, good, Good shot by Morvari to start things off down on that ankle. But Taylor scrambled to get in a good position to get a crotch lock and roll through. Um, so, you know, if you're Morvari, there's no reason not to go back to your shots. They're working. You just got to be a little careful about, uh, you know, those scrambles right after. You want a clean finish. And Taylor, we'll see his offense. Haven't had a chance to really see uh, what his game plan is. Yeah, we'll see. He was very solid defensively in his semifinal yesterday with Christian Forbes. Had a chance to call that one, and, and his defense was was really the difference in that match, his ability to mitigate those shots. And so, um, you know, he, he's a guy that can shut you down. And now with a two-point lead, that is certainly to his advantage. And we're underway. Clock ticking down under that two-minute mark, so plenty of time. Low level stance for Taylor. He gets back up into space. Now we're into collar ties. Shot by Taylor. See what Morvari has. Oh, nice shuck attempt, but Taylor just controlling that elbow. Yeah, head and hands defense, keeping both wrestlers at a arm's length. They're getting about forehead to forehead, but not too much closer. Some shots, some attacks, but like that one, touching knees, but not much else. First passivity warning of the match going to go against Morvari. Nobody on the clock yet. Let's 
So still in space there. This is a little bit more of a feeling out period. They had that shot, flurry, and score early in the first period. Now as we round that final minute of the first period. Oh, we get a nice elbow pass and a clean finish on that one. Taylor takes a four-point lead. Now he's got a tight gut. He's picking Morvari up. Good job belling back down to the mat, making himself heavy. Close to the edge. See if he can finish this in bounds. So that's twice now that Taylor's had a extremely tight gut wrench wrapped up. These lighter weights, they get the long arms going, the small waists, and they can uh, wrap up from touch their own elbows. Now I have a nice low shot from Morvari like he had earlier in this period, but once again, Taylor stops the initial momentum, stretches Morvari out. What's he going to do from here? We'll get a stalemate. 22 seconds left in the first period. Still four-point lead by Hunter Taylor. Short time left in the first, and just a little verbal warning there. Tell him to wrestle up from his feet. Short time left in the period. We'll see if there are any attacks in these last 10 or so seconds. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, oh, there's a very short time, but running out of time just as he flips that leg over with a single leg. Wizard defense from Morvari kept him from giving up any points there. Both Morvari and Taylor, the lone finalists for their teams. Minnesota, just the one finalist. They do have six All-Americans that are still vying for their spots on the backside, or six total, five on the backside. Missouri, though, just one All-American, and it is Taylor, so he wants to make the most of their one All-American honor. Wants to finish Absolutely. on top of the podium. Everybody comes here with their teammates. You spend basically a week or more. It's kind of like camp. And uh, if you don't know these guys, you get to know them at the end. They form a team. A lot of them have camps beforehand, depending on the state. And you want to do well, not just for yourself, but for everybody else. Looking for a head pinch as the second period gets underway. And now Taylor counters, holds Morvari on his back for a moment, and that will be two more points. Now the third time he's got a gut wrench, hasn't scored yet. Close Goes to, to the right, pops his hip. Good technique there, getting the most out of that. Now two points away from a tech fall. Saw Jared Lawrence reach for the brick. He thought about challenging that call and then decided not to. It was interesting, he didn't, Taylor didn't roll Morvari all the way through. I think definitely exposed though. Yeah, Minnesota, they had a lot of cadet All-Americans uh, and they have a finalist here, and as you said, multiple All-Americans in the junior division as well. Under two minutes to go, still an eight-point lead. Taylor just needs to uh, wrestle smart, not give up uh, any big exchange of points. It's just shot by Morvari. Taylor smells blood in the water. He's going to go for it. This could finish off the bout, earn himself a stop sign, and he gets it. Hunter, Hunter Taylor. Taylor, yes, sir. Impressive. He's bringing that stop sign back to Missouri. Liberty High School got to be proud of this young man getting his hand raised with a gable wrap in the process, looking sharp. Not slowed down at all. He looked uh, good before the wrap came on. He looked good after it. 